Ladies and gentle ladies, Yelon is an absolute powerhouse and I just got this new weapon for Yelon. If you guys have watched my summons for Emily, you guys know that I actually missed out on Emily's weapon, but I did win the Aqua Simulacra. Guys, the Aqua Simulacra is real and I wanted to try it out against the um, little flying dude. I mean, by large, actually. <laughs> um, I don't have it at 90 just yet, just because this material is just so annoying to farm. I, I just... I just, yeah, I just can't at the moment. I, I'm just not doing it. I mean, it should be fine either way. We get an HP increase right there as well as a damage increase, which is pretty nice to have. And I'm running the 4P707 Fade, so we're chilling on that. No constellations. Talents at 6, 8, and 9. So we're going to be absolutely going crazy. I have 44,000 uh, HP, but that's also because I have Furion on the team. And here are my stats. 81, 201. These are some nice looking stats. The energy recharge is looking kind of low though. But since I have uh, Furion, I think it will be just fine. Um, yeah, I'm running Kaza just, so, just to increase the damage. As well as Zhongli to increase the damage. And that's pretty much it. So, uh, yeah, let's just uh, get to, you know, just get started. Let's just start, okay? I'm going to use uh, Furion right here just to just get some particles back. Just a few here and there, okay? Do that. Okay, I mean, I was I was pretty nice. I was pretty nice. Maybe I should have not because it, it's kind of you know confusing me a little bit. All right, here we go. This is the damage. I I didn't crit with eighty one percent chance of critting. Excuse you, sir. Here we go. No, your hide was increased and I did crit that time. Oh no. All right, here we go. Can't, you can't make this up. Here we go again. There we go. Twenty six thousand. That is that is juicy. Okay, and we do this. Man. Oh, okay. That's pretty good. No buffs going, not like going on so far. We're gonna use Kazaha. We're gonna use Zhongli, and we're gonna use Free Arena. Just going all out on the damage increase. I need to remember to do all of those before I ult with the Elon because I generally do ult with the Elon pretty early. I mean, I tend to, right? But, you know, not, not anymore. Okay, here we go. Do this, do this, do that. Okay, 45k without the ult, but now we ult in a second. We do this, let's get this back up. Do this, do that. Oh, I might kill with. Okay, let's see the damage. Fifteen thousand. Okay, ten thousand. Ten thousand. I've seen. I've seen ten thousand. It wasn't. It wasn't fifteen thousand. Just to be clear, it was ten thousand. I think it was the little bros that was doing so many. I don't think I should use Furina's little bros. Okay, I entered the spiral abyss just so I can have the ult at all times because it's it's just really annoying. Not having the ult. Um, but yeah, we can just uh, don't use the E. If I use the E, it's bad news bears. Alright, do this. Alright, here we go. Ooh, 60,000. It's like that. Oh my goodness gracious me. Oh my goodness gracious me. I don't have Furina's full buff right now. Wait, 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 wait. I forgot, I forgot. Alright, here we go. This. Do that. Do this. And then boom. Hey, that's I mean that's pretty good. No, I mean I'll take consider right. Boom. <laughs> it's just so good. Okay, here we go. We're gonna use the Arlecchino. Yeah, yeah, I get it. The Arlecchino's kind of strong. Yeah, that's the whole point. Okay, right, here we go. Do that. Boom. And then yoink. <laughs> yeah, it's... It's, it's really good. <laughs> it's really good. Boom. Boom. Block that. Yoink. 
There we go. <laughs> yeah. Obviously, this can be way stronger if I had a little bit more energy recharge. I can max out the artifact set that I have, which is the energy energy recharge one, which is a uh, MLS everything, right? So I could even it could even go higher easily. Um, I'm just a little uh, behind on the energy recharge sense department. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I think, I think Yelon is an incredible character and one that everybody should get if you guys want to clear the abyss with absolute ease. Because you'll be like, hey, we already have Xingqiu and he's C6. Well, imagine having two C6, Xing, you know, Xingqiu's base. So, uh, does Yelon need Aqua Simulacra? I'd say no, because my energy recharge sacrificial bow just does just as much um it just also helps me with energy recharge anyway so i think i just prefer this one the little 16 percent hp boost is not gonna do much for me but the attack buff is really nice or the damage buff rather which is um which is pretty much the whole thing with that and i get a lot more crit rate out of it which means i'm going to deal more damage but I think I just prefer this just because of rotation purposes and I get my ult off more often. I mean, I could just replace my HP sands um, and get an energy recharge one, but I, I haven't been that lucky. <laughs> so yeah, for now, I'm going to be sticking with the Sacrificial Bow, which performs just as well. So yeah, 